In this video, I'll discuss the remaining benefits of the cloud that will be assessed during the AZ900 as your fundamentals certification exam. We'll specifically cover the following skills that will be assessed. Describe the benefits of security and governance in the cloud. And describe the benefits of manageability in the cloud. OK, so let's start off with the security benefit of the cloud. As you can imagine, platforms like Azure have millions of customers and security is extremely important. There are a number of ways that Microsoft Azure ensures security on its platform. Cloud providers, such as Microsoft Azure, offer advanced security features that may be difficult for organizations to implement in-house. For example, Azure offers network security groups, virtual private networks, firewalls, and DDoS protection, which can help secure an organization's assets. Cloud providers also have a responsibility to protect their customers' data, so they offer encryption and other security measures to ensure that the data is protected. Microsoft Azure also has a set of comprehensive compliance certifications that help customers meet their regulatory and compliance obligations. Cloud providers also offer redundancy and backups to ensure data availability and disaster recovery in the case of an outage or disaster. Cloud providers offer access control mechanisms, such as role-based access control, that enable organizations to manage and control access to data and applications. There are also tools that provide greater visibility into an organization's security, enabling organizations to identify and address potential security issues quickly. Cloud providers offer automation and configuration management tools that can help reduce the risk of human error and ensure that security best practices are followed. Overall, cloud computing provides many security benefits, and these benefits can help customers to improve their security and reduce their risk of security-related incidents. So now let's talk about governance in the cloud. So why would you want governance in place? Well, a company would want governance in place to ensure that their resources are deployed, managed, and used in a secure and compliant manner, while maintaining consistency and accountability across their cloud infrastructure. By implementing governance, a company can reduce risks related to security and compliance. There are many compliance standards and regulations that an organization may need to comply with, depending on its industry, geographic location, and the nature of its operations. For example, ISO 27001 is a set of standards for information security management systems that provide a framework for managing and protecting sensitive information. Azure provides governance benefits in a number of ways, but mainly via Azure Policy and Azure Blueprints, which are two very important governance tools in Azure. Azure Policy is a service that allows organizations to create, assign, and manage policies for their Azure resources. It provides a way to enforce rules and guidelines for resource configuration, ensuring that resources are deployed in a secure and compliant manner. Azure Blueprints is a service that enables organizations to define a repeatable set of Azure resources that adhere to an organization's standards, patterns, and requirements. Azure Blueprints allows organizations to package policies, role-based access control definitions, and resource templates into a single blueprint definition that can be used to quickly deploy to new environments. Azure Blueprints makes it easier for organizations to ensure compliance and governance across their environments, while also providing a way to simplify and accelerate the deployment of new resources. So finally, let's discuss the management benefit of Azure. Azure's management benefits help organizations to streamline and automate cloud management tasks optimize resource usage and costs, and improve security and compliance. The benefit is broken down into how you manage your cloud resources, such as applications and services, and then how you manage the cloud itself. In terms of management of the cloud resources, there are quite a few ways that Azure can provide benefits. Azure provides the ability to scale resources up or down based on changing business needs allowing organizations to dynamically adjust their cloud resources to meet demand. You can also deploy resources based on a pre-configured template, removing the need for manual configuration. 
Azure provides a range of monitoring and analytics tools that enable organizations to monitor and optimize the performance of their cloud services. You can also receive automatic alerts based on configured metrics, so you're aware of the performance in real time. For example, Azure provides a range of cost management tools and features that enable you to monitor and manage your cloud spending. In terms of how you manage the cloud itself, Azure Web Portal provides a nice and easy interface that you can use. You can also use the command line, APIs, and even PowerShell. Okay, great. So over the last few videos, we've now covered all of the benefits that will be examined as part of the AZ900 Azure Fundamentals certification exam. If you check out the links in the description, then there are some practice questions that you can take, covering what I've discussed in this video and the previous three videos to help you prepare for the exam. Thanks again for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Azure tips and tutorials.